Imagine this, a sunken cargo ship lying deep underwater, holding over 4,000 luxury cars like Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Porsches all resting on the ocean floor. How did they end up there? Well, it's a mystery waiting to be unraveled. These incidents, among the most severe and expensive in the history of rollover shipping tragedies, offer insightful lessons on the challenges and risks in the world of maritime transport. The sheer value of this underwater treasure is mind-blowing. Who knows what other secrets lie beneath the waves? Stay tuned for more jaw-dropping discoveries. Cougar Ace the Cougar Ace, flying the Singapore flag with a capacity for about 5,000 vehicles, endured an ordeal on July 23, 2006, amid its voyage from Nagoya, Japan, to Vancouver, Canada. Mishaps during ballast water transfer near Alaska's Aleutian Islands led to a dire list, jeopardizing the vessel. Rescue missions involving the U.S. Navy and Coast Guard ensured the safety of the 23-member crew. Subsequent efforts stabilized the Cougar Ace, guiding it to Dutch Harbor, Alaska, for inspection. Mazda, acknowledging the damages, chose not to sell the 4,700 Mazda cars on board. The financial toll from this episode reached an estimated $103 million, exclusive of rescue operation costs. Felicity Ace While the 22 crew members on board were rescued without harm, the ship and its expensive cargo were beyond salvation. In addition, concern mounted over the potential environmental damage due to the roughly 2,200 tons of fuel and oil on board, along with materials like metal, plastic, electrical cables, and paint. The fire's cause has been suspected to lie with the lithium batteries in the electric vehicles being transported, although evidence to firmly establish this has been elusive. The sheer size of the vessel rendered salvage attempts by Smith Salvage to tow it to the Azores ineffective. This disaster came at a time when the global automotive industry was already grappling with a supply chain crisis, dealing with labor shortages exacerbated by the pandemic, semiconductor scarcities, and other disruptive challenges. The loss of the Felicity Ace added further complications to an industry struggling to satisfy the booming market demand, particularly in the United States, which was the carrier's intended destination. In February of 2022, the Felicity Ace, a car carrier operated by Mitsui OSK Lines, met with a tragic fate, a massive fire broke out on board while it was in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean on February 16, and by March 1, it had sunk near the Azores Islands. The sinking of this 60,000-ton vessel caused a stir worldwide, not only because of the incident itself but because it was loaded with around 4,000 luxury vehicles from prestigious automakers such as Porsche, Audi, Volkswagen, Bentley, and Lamborghini including specifically 1,100 Porsche cars and 189 Bentley vehicles. The financial impact was staggering, with estimated losses ranging from $334 million to $401 million. Sincerity Ace Closing 2018 on a tragic note, the car carrier Sincerity Ace was en route from Yokohama, Japan, to Honolulu when it was engulfed by a massive fire on December 31. The fire, compromising 3,500 Nissan vehicles, posed significant industry losses. Rescue operations were immensely hampered by adverse weather, leading to the tragic loss of five crew members, with four discovered unresponsive and one missing. More than four years later, the Sincerity Ace remains a somber reminder of the perils associated with transporting vehicles, especially those powered by electric technologies, across the seas. The precise cause of the fire remains unrevealed, highlighting ongoing risks in maritime vehicle transport.
MV Baltic Ace. On December 5, 2012, the North Sea was the site of a severe maritime disaster when the car carrier MV Baltic Ace, on its way from Zeebrug, Belgium, to Kotka, Finland, collided with the container ship Corvus J, 25 nautical miles off the Dutch coast. Managed by Euro Marine Logistics and loaded with 1,400 Mitsubishi cars intended for the Russian market, the collision led to the Baltic Ace sinking within 15 minutes in shallow waters. The incident is marked as one of the deadliest and most costly in the history of roll-on slash roll-off ship accidents. Efforts to rescue the 24 crew members were hindered by adverse weather, resulting in 11 fatalities. The wreck, resting at a depth of only 35 meters, became a navigational hazard. In response, in 2014, the Dutch company Royal Bascalis was commissioned to salvage the wreckage, employing a technique previously used on the MV Tricolor, by cutting the Baltic Ace into eight sections for removal. This tragedy underscores the critical need for maritime safety and highlights the profound human and material losses, including the significant financial impact from the loss of the new Mitsubishi vehicles. MV Golden Ray On September 8, 2019, the MV Golden Ray, a vehicle carrier flagged under South Korea since 2017, met with disaster. Embarking from Brunswick, Georgia towards Baltimore, Maryland, the ship, laden with around 4,200 vehicles from brands including Hyundai and Mercedes-Benz, experienced a steering failure leading to its capsizing near St. Simon Sound, Jekyll Island. Rescue operations swiftly ensued, saving 20 of the 24 crew members rapidly, while the remaining four necessitated an evacuation through hull incisions. The National Transportation Safety Board NTSB, pinpointed errors in ballast management and stability calculation errors by the ship's crew as the main culprits. The aftermath saw severe vehicle damage and environmental contamination, with salvage efforts commencing in November 2020, involving the ship's segmentation for disposal. MV Hegosaka on 3 January 2015, the maritime industry was rocked by a significant incident involving the MV Hegosaka. Owned by Hoag Autoliners of Norway, the carrier met with an accident route from Southampton, England, to Bremerhaven, Germany, when it listed dangerously. The vessel's shift caused its steering mechanisms and propellers to emerge above the water, culminating in its grounding near the Isle of Wight, at Bramblebank. The severe tilt threatened both the vessel's equilibrium and the security of its cargo, comprising 1,400 vehicles, including luxury brands like Range Rovers and Rolls Royces. Salvage operations eventually saw the Hogue, Osaka return to Southampton, its list corrected to 5 degrees, allowing for the safe discharge of its cargo. This incident underscored the critical nature of stability management within the operations of car carriers, thankfully resulting in no loss of life but highlighting the financial and potential environmental stakes involved. MV Tricolor In December 2002, one of the largest incidents involving a Norwegian car carrier, known as the MV Tricolor, occurred in the English Channel. This significant event unfolded on December 14 when the Tricolor, carrying nearly 2,900 new BMW, Volvo, and Saab cars, collided with the container ship Kariba about 32 kilometers off the French coast. Even though the Kariba managed to continue its journey, the Tricolor wasn't so fortunate and sank. The 24 crew members aboard the sinking Tricolor were successfully rescued by the Kariba and a tugboat addition. Unfortunately, the complete cargo of vehicles was irrevocably lost. As the shipwreck settled, it posed a substantial navigational risk in one of the world's busiest shipping lanes. The hazardous situation was further aggravated two days after the incident when two additional vessels, a dry cargo ship, and an oil tanker both collided with the wrecked tricolor. 
Seeing the need to address the issue, authorities decided to salvage the sunken car carrier. The project kicked off in 2003 spearheaded by the Dutch company Smith Salvage, whose initial objective was to pump out the fuel from Tricolor's tanks. Once the fuel was extracted, the wreckage was dealt with by cutting the hull into nine evenly sized sections, each weighing approximately 3,000 tons. Using specialized ropes, salvagers sliced through the hull and transported each piece to the Belgian port of Zebra. Following this, the whole batch of 2,871 new premium brand cars was retrieved from the wreckage and sent for recycling. Most of the fuel was drawn out soon after the ship had settled onto the seafloor, but the recovery process led to approximately 540 tons of oil leaking out.